guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting ring to episodes 15 and 16 of Knowing to Your Other Life. Do I say to your other life? To your other self, my bad. So let's go ahead and get started with episode 15 in 3, 2, 1, go. It feels like forever since I watched the show, even though it hasn't been forever. Her dad. Sure. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Honestly, I think this episode is going to be maybe probably one of the best episodes because we're finally maybe um, going to get some insight on some stuff that I've been working for the past two weeks. Specifically since ever since, I think, what, 13, 14, and a little bit of 12 and 11, and learning about how her dad kind of knows a little bit about this stuff. So any questions that she kind of has, she can go ahead and ask him. But, of course, she's going to probably want to be talking about her dreams that she has and what maybe his opinion is on it. I don't really know. I wonder if she's gonna, excuse me, um, introduce her dad to Katsu. I, I like honestly, as much as I want that to happen, I don't want it. I really just want her to keep Katsu a secret. She's kept him a secret for so long, literally, well, except for everybody else, because you know they was bound to find out. But I don't know. I mean, if she tells her parents. What the hell are they gonna say? What the hell are they gonna do? Like you had a man in the house or something? I don't know. <laughs> oh my god. Already in English. Oh no, oh my god. Is <laughs> Okay. Sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I thought I turned my phone off. Hold on. <laughs> no, do not disturb. I mean, she's older now. She's a lot more mature. And plus, those two still want to see her dad, so they're going to find some way.
Hmm. But hold on, wait. What if there is it a next time? <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you for the email, Tumblr. Really? <laughs> no. Uh huh. Oh. Oh, really? Oh. Oh. Honestly, <laughs> the relationship between them is cute, though. But then, hold up, wait, 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 because you already know what the heck I'm going to ask. If we, we talk about y'all as kids, who was Toby as a kid? I mean, she's the only one. Well, no. Not today as well, but mainly Toby, I'm just like. You would have assumed that these two would have went out and like tail a heart out of for her dad, you know. Yeah, but only if you know, mm, you're there earlier and you tailed her. How do we do you really need to take the gun though? I don't think Goddess is gonna hurt you. Don't. Mm -hmm. I mean, will we really even kind of count Kadasu and everyone as still human? I mean, they don't really, they technically kind of need food and substance and also water, but at the same time, no. They're, they just, to me, they seem like an advanced species of a human that doesn't need food or water or um, sleep, anything else that I can think of.
Well, yeah. I mean, there ain't no surprise about that. Yeah, because they're supposed to protect her. That's like your quote unquote destiny. <laughs> yeah, because you like I. I mean, it's obvious as fuck. Excuse me. Alright, um, are y'all gonna take them to the future project? I don't think y'all can, but uh you can try. Yeah. See, of course, because see they never went in there for freaking fourteen episodes and episode fifteen we're finally going inside of this place. This is just like freaking Fire Force, like the first time I've ever season one. The heck? Oh, I don't think that's no aim. And the figures are probably going to go where they are, right? Why do I feel like somebody going to get killed in this group? Oh. You know, I mean, kind of say you really shouldn't do that. I'm not in the move to, for jump scares and, you know, my slice of life anime. Unless it's horror and I can, like, jump and, like, up and laugh at myself because that is just hilarious. There's something there. Yeah, don't judge it. So then, should you guys go get out of that though? Yeah. And of course, you would cut it at the worst fucking time, would you? <laughs> See, there's that damn thing again. Um, I, I'm, I'm confused on that. The Noe mask. Oh! But he's not gonna make- Okay, never mind.
this is like some tripping. Oh my god. Mm -mm. It's some tripping balls ish. Something's gonna happen. <laughs> no, oh my god, Haruka. That's not kind of that's no aim. Mm -hmm. Well, what made you think that? Got a bad feeling. Now what am I? Shangri La? So basically like a guy. I don't know you like the, the hands coming out like that. What did you see? Hold up. Wait. What if it's her dad? Oh my god. I don't know. <laughs> it could be like another version of her dad. Like paradise, yeah, paradise. We are still in a situation of damned if you do, damned if you don't. I mean, 
I hate the fact that this little girl has to choose, but I mean, it's her destiny. And I mean, no matter how hard he's going to destroy Noane, he's always going to come back, like, stronger than ever. He's already killed Izumi, and he could probably do worse. Yeah, that's worse. Mm -hmm. But, oh, hold on, wait, 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 what about Haruka? I mean, she just sent Kadasu back, but what about herself? She didn't come back. <laughs> yeah, exactly, where is <laughs> I mean, she, she, she summoned the Ouroboros and then she did the poof. This girl could have, she could have gone anywhere. She could be anywhere right now. She could be in the past. She'd be in the present, like somewhere else in AK, not her hometown. She could be in the future. I mean, or she could be in that dimension with no way in as of right now, but. She only disappeared, not him as um as well. So I got no fucking clue. This was an interesting episode. I really kind of not really assumed, but thought even with the previews that I got last week that we would have had a focus with her and her dad, and then like a little teeny tiny bit of kind of zoom and everyone else. But it would have been like. 5% and <laughs> everything else would have been nothing but her and her dad but because the fact is he left I, I get that but I feel like there's going to be another point in time with maybe 16 to the end of the series he is he's gonna have to make another appearance it'll be weird to just have him in 14 and 15 and then to never see him again so I mean come on now there's got to be a fucking reason like come on please that's all I want. This girl probably in like a god dang uh, time paradox or something. I mean, because it seems like she's flowing through time. That's exactly what she's doing. She's basically going back in time to, like, episode one, <laughs> when all this was happening. Like, episode one, episode two. And she's going to be, either she's going to be repeating the same thing again, or, you know, uh, alright, I'm going to go a little into spoiler territory for um, Kingdom Hearts 3 Remind. So if you don't want to hear this, just go ahead and go on to the other video. If you do, go ahead and stay. Okay, so there's a point in time after Kingdom Hearts 3 ends, um... And we weren't really able to save Kyrie because Kyrie essentially died, kind of. And so Sora decides to um, travel back in time using his heart and to fly into the hearts of his friends in order to basically save Kyrie and get pieces of Kyrie back. And that's and there's a point where you're literally repeating the same things that you did in Vanilla Kingdom Hearts 3 and the Remind. Uh, scenario 
but you're not only playing as Sora, you're playing as like Riku, um, Aqua, Roxas, and a little teeny tiny bit of Mickey. Just um, not with the battle with him and Sora. It's more. It's the um. It's the. It's like the the badass moment that Mickey gets in his so good like a tier like quality. But that's what it seems like this next episode is gonna be because it's just like her her feet her present day self is going back in time and she's going to meet her past self aka the um Hadaka from episode one episode two when it, when she was looking like why is this happening to me questioning a lot of things and it's like that and so maybe she still has some flow inside of her heart I don't know I mean I'm just talking out of my butt right now literally anything can happen in this next episode but yeah go ahead and pause the video and I'll see you guys in one second for episode 16. All right episode 16 and three two, one, go. Wait, nope, nope, because it didn't even play. So take two and three, two, one, go. Here we go. Okay, you don't hit him. It's not his fault. No. Don't assume that. He didn't. Haruka basically forced him to come back. Jesus. This kid just got angry at himself. Oh my god. Like, I. Ugh. This kid. I, I love him to death. But like, oh my god. You just want to slap him. Be like, no. No. Uh -uh. <laughs> be like, shut up. And listen. <laughs> be like. <laughs> she forced me back here and now she's somewhere in the time stream going somewhere like it into the past to see her present self no, her past self to repeat a day maybe because of the fact that she goes back into the past and she repeats a day she's probably going to get answers that you know we all wondered in episode one two three four You know what I was kind of thinking? Um, let's just say, like, the last few episodes, some weird reason she has to go back in the past in order to, like, kind of prevent all this to happening and everything. I mean, mm -hmm. would that even happen? And then is there a way to get, like, easy me to teach yourself back? But I, I don't really think so because he, he got disintegrated. So I don't know. I don't think that's possible. As much as I want that, it's just not in the cards. <laughs> I, it already has... Well, in this anime, yes, they can. But why would he be an illusionist? 
he seems real. He has to be real. Why would you? Something about. Mm, mm. I mean, he needed water. So, I mean, a mob species, something. Because if he was an illusion, he wouldn't be doing all the things that he's been doing for her since now. Excuse me. In a way, they're kind of like dark cross lovers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I can't believe we're doing episode one all over again. <laughs> this. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Had they not given me that preview and we just would have went and watched this episode, I probably would have been like. What? Exactly. See, my biggest thing on this is like, how long has the span been? Like, what? Like, has it been like? I don't think it's been like a month. Maybe like two or three months. I mean, because this seems like technically. Summer as, I mean, but even though they were kind of still going to school at the time, the beginning of the couple episodes. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, mijo. <laughs>
Is that the bad guy in the car? God, he's an animal. makes you wonder what would have possibly happened if they would have ran away together but it's too late now can't really fix that Because it's not your time. You're still a baby. Well, I mean, not a baby, baby, but you know, you you're still tiny. That was the most awesome. thing.
can't. Mm. But when that day happens, you're not going to be ready for that. Because I feel like that's coming. In the eight episodes we got left, it's coming. And I think she's going to try to do, try to do everything in her part to prevent that. Because she doesn't want to. There's that robot thing again. There, he, he should have died, but Haruka saved him. Mm -hmm. And Haruka was maybe, and there she is. Mm -hmm. And so she must have been like, what, a little kid? Not the same age as she is now? Because I'm still thinking about um, what her father said in 15, saying that um, about seeing the ghost when she was little and crying over it. But of course, you got to find it yourself. Because they are skipping over a lot of ish. More like hers than you know. Um, <laughs> Star Wars now. Mm -hmm. And then she's going to go to the right. Or, or the left. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's gonna go the opposite way towards the graveyard, and then eventually, cut us through, and you should be coming up.
I mean, let's just say he, he like the big bad of this series. I mean, With this exact one, actually. <laughs> oh, God. Still makes me laugh. Be like, mm, what you gonna do with that? So hold up. Hold the yeah, cut it. And now mm -hmm. she's slowly remembering. Okay. Never mind about what the hell I was about to say. Okay, no, she's the same age. Okay. Because this is all from episode one. Yeah, they are star cross lovers in the way. No matter what, they're. Um, my God. They're crossing. They're always going to cross no matter what. They're always going to essentially be together but not like as a couple but just no matter what they're gonna just be there for each other their destinies are fine their ribbons of fate is like that so is she now like back in the present day yeah <laughs> this is an okay episode. I mean, there were, okay, I get the fact of her repeating episode one over again for her to remember. I get that. that I'm all fine and dandy with that. And I'm fine with, you know, having Hanukkah's dad talking to the dude from the previous episode. But it just seemed a little unnecessary to me. Like, what was the point of this episode? Really just the, the remembering aspect to, like, deepen the bond of Haruka and Kadesu. Like, don't get me wrong, it was still a good episode, but I felt like the premise of it because I was thinking like oh we're gonna have something that you know eventually is gonna answer everything from any questions that I had from one to the previous episode and honestly I really don't think it did it gave me some but I'm so like we're, we're missing the big big picture and so I feel like 17 to the end of the series will give me those answers that I need this was just like it felt like a, re a refresher episode to me almost like a um a recap episode, even though it's not supposed to be a recap episode. It just, like, with the fact is, yes, we're repeating the same day again, and we're seeing present-day Hanukkah go back into the past and seeing her past self and questioning, oh, I'm forgetting this. I don't remember what's happening after this. This should happen. And just to kind of straighten that bond. So, yeah, I mean, it was okay. 
but I just in a little in my in my own defense and opinion on it, it just felt a little unnecessary. That's all. It's still a good episode though. Yeah, she ain't gonna do it. She gonna do it anyway. But it's good to the fact is that, cause okay, let, let's just go back to episode one in that moment where Karasu and um, Yuzumi see yourself were fighting. Um, that I want to say <laughs> a head-looking monster robot thing. I don't even know what the heck to call that. Funny that thing, and him supposedly dying, and at that moment because like. I had questions about that, and that gave me an answer on that. 100% happy about that. But still, the context and so many other things that I have about this like, still have not been answered. And we have eight episodes left with the show. I have four more weeks with the show before I'm done with it. And I felt like this is going to be one of those shows that either one of two things. A, I might have to rewatch again on my own and just like either binge it Um to understand it more, slash maybe look up information, or B, as I said in A, look up information, see if there's like a um, a video essay going a little more in depth into the show, because still, almost like how, um, with like Managatari, I had so many questions on that, and when I was done completely either with an arc or the series overall, I ended up looking up a whole bunch of video essays on questions that I still had by the time I finished the show, and lift it up. I did the same thing for um, Penguin Drum, even though somebody was sending me um, long essays that someone had typed out to understand, oh, this is the reason because of this and stuff like that, but I still had questions at the end of the show. Um, it's like that. So I kind of hope there's maybe like a little bits and pieces of people who maybe did a video essay on this show. Um, I mean, because this show is from... I think I said 2005. Let me look again. I spelled that wrong. Stupid. Come on. Oh my god. Like, uh, give me one second. Um, yeah, 2005. So, I mean, it's been over 10 years. So, yeah, at least, like, maybe one or two people probably have, like, a video essay um, going a little more in-depth into it because I feel like there are still answers that probably by the time I finish this show that I'm still going to be, like, left hanging and <laughs> never get. But just kind of getting, like, almost another, another opinion on the show because... 15, not 15, 16 episodes in, and this show is still good, but with this episode right here, I think this will probably be my least favorite episode for this, because I just felt like so much, in my opinion, it just felt unnecessary, and, and there will probably be so many people who would be like, no, 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 this was necessary to the plot, yada, 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 because you'll see from 17 to the end of the series on why they did this for episode 16, I don't know, but as of right now, that's just my little opinion on that. I'm not saying I hate the episode. It was a very uh, thought out piece for this episode. I just think the things that were mentioned in it, uh, specifically going into repeating the day over again, and for her to really remember Katasu, that kind of felt a little teeny tiny bit unnecessary, but that's just it. Other than that, guys, that is my reaction to you towards episodes 15 and 16 of Knowing to Your Other Self. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially on next Friday for Patreons and next Tuesday for everybody else for episodes 17 and 18. Bye, guys.